welcome to wikitiki.com here is some of the important interview questions asked in many companies and this is all really important questions for this particular piece of company so i'm going to should talk about the interview and the answers and bit of tutorials too and i'm going to show the live cloud which is asked in the questions My name is Venkat. I am a Microsoft Most Valuable Professional. You are able to see my profile in Microsoft.com. Apart from this, I got almost 16 international awards, and among 16 international awards, nine awards like I have received from Microsoft. So here is the question: difference between the public cloud and the private cloud. So public cloud, public cloud is nothing but viewing a fully linear cinema theater. Or viewing a fully linear home using a DVD that's your private cloud. So pay for whatever resource you need at whatever time period. Over here, it is owned by a specific private group for the own use of employed partners and their own customers. These are provided commercially. Over here, it's highly controlled and not accessible by anyone other than allowed. It supports heavy workloads without disturbing any functionality. Security, governance, and compliance is highly automated. Over here, it is very cheap for the consumers since the hardware, application, and other costs are handled by the providers. Similarly, the features are like a public cloud, irrespective of security and maintenance. So, this is the major difference between the public cloud and the private cloud. Okay, so here is the one. So here is the one. Like we are able to see it here. So public cloud is like viewing a film in the theater. Private cloud is viewing the film in the DVD in your home, and hybrid cloud is like video streaming. Over here, I put IT operations model here, and over here, the IT infrastructure. Public cloud, a shared and unmanaged services is given by the public cloud. A dedicated unmanaged service is given by the private cloud. A managed cloud hosting is given by the shared managed cloud. A managed dedicated is given by the managed private cloud. This is how you are able to see the differences between the public cloud and the private cloud. Still further. A publicly shared virtual resources and it support multiple customers, support connectivity over the internet and suited for less confidential information. I'll go with this public cloud. Our private cloud, you are able to see privately shared virtualized resources, cluster of dedicated customers, connectivity over internet, fiber and private network and it's suited for the secure confidential information and core systems. That's how we are able to show the difference. And here is the hybrid cloud. So it's like a bridging between the private and public cloud. That's your hybrid cloud. Let's see the example. Over here, you are able to see a Google App Engine. And this is the public cloud through which you are able to create your web and mobile apps using this Google App Engine. Now I'm trying to show it in Google Cloud Platform. Over here, this is your Google App Engine. So using that, you are able to create the applications. And you are able to specify App Engine Docs, you are able to specify or we can view what is the technology you are going to use it to create this environment. This is a kind of a public cloud. You are able to see it here. I'm trying to show on another example here, G Suite, a Gmail for your company. For example, wikitiki.com, winkert at wikitiki.com. This is the mail ID, I can use it to access my Gmail. So this is how it will be. So at your company domain name, you are able to create your Gmail. This is a typical example of your it's a kind of hybrid cloud, a private environment into your public world. Over here, I have logged in into my Microsoft Azure account. This is your private cloud. It's my cloud computing environment through which I'll be using my username and password to access this one. 
desktop environment. Over here, I'm able to create anything I want and you'll be given username and passwords to access it. This is how you are able to create access to your private cloud. So with your strong credentials and you got your specific engine or a specific environment to control it. Over here, this is a common environment, a public cloud. And this one is like your private environment into a public world. That's a hybrid environment. This is how you are able to segregate between your public, private and hybrid cloud. So, by definition, a hybrid cloud is a mixture of internal and external cloud services. A combination of a private cloud combined with the use of public cloud services. This type of cloud is most suitable when you want to keep the confidential data at your premise and consume the other services from a public cloud. You are able to see the firewall things. You are able to see private cloud is, uh, is really secure. You will be having a specific firewall. For public cloud, you don't have major specific firewalls to control the intruders into the environment. For hybrid, it's partial. You'll be having a partial secure data into the firewall and the rest of the data outside the firewall. If we talk about the pros and the cons or advantage of a hybrid cloud, it's scalable T. You can extend it as much as you can, cost effective security and you got more flexibility. These are the major advantages of your hybrid clouds. If we talk about the disadvantages, it's not cons, it's disadvantages. It's majorly infrastructure dependencies the and networking wise you got a lot of dependencies and security compliance you got a lot of dependencies. Over here if we talk about my private cloud you can see it's networking. Over here, you want the virtual network, a load balancer, a gateway you want, a local gateway, virtual gateway, DNS zones, a route table, everything you want, a public address or connections, everything you are able to dedicatedly take it up. This is how the environment is. Over a hybrid cloud, you got a lot of networking related stuff like uh, dependency issues are there. Now, further moving towards the public cloud definition. A public cloud is one based on the standard cloud computing model in which a service provider makes resources such as applications and storage available to the general public over the internet. So public cloud services may be free or offered on a paper usage model. If we talk about the futures of public cloud, it is open for use by general public. It exists beyond the firewall, fully hosted and managed by the vendor. The individuals, corporations and other Amazon web services and Google App Engine are typical examples. And its pay-as-you-go model helps startups to start small and go big. Still further about the futures, it's a large-scale infrastructure available on a rental basis. So virtual machines like the ZenVM and KVM are typical example provide CPU isolation. Roll your own network provisioning provides a network isolation. If we talk about the overlay networks, you are able to get multiple virtual networks. It's overlaid on one physical network and locally specific storage abstractions. Still talking about the features of a public cloud, it's fully customer self-service. The service level agreements are advertised, requests are accepted and resources granted via web services. Customers access resources remotely via the internet. If we talk about the accountability, accountability is e-commerce based. The web based transactions or pay as you go and flat rate subscription. And you are provided with the customer service and a refunds too. These are the advantages and features of public law. 
I said, we've got lots and lots of interview questions for you in go to youtube.com, search for Wikitiki interview tips for interview related stuff. For school related, it's Wikitiki school, and for uh, technology, it's Wikitiki technology tutorials. And if uh, finally for health, it's Wikitiki health and entertainment. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel to get regular updates from us. And if you have any questions or comments, you can post it in our YouTube videos so that our expert team will answer it. Here is our website and our Facebook URL. Thank you from Wikidiki